Hey, it's Chris, Safety Dog here. PC, personal conveyance for Canadian truck drivers in the U.S. Can you use it legally? That and more when we come right back. All right, PC, personal conveyance in the U.S. Can Canadians use it while in the U.S. legally? Let me tell you, there has been a number of Canadian truck drivers put out of service because they use the American personal conveyance rule while in the US. How does that happen? Let's talk about it. The easiest way to explain it is a trip from Chicago, from Toronto to Chicago. That's about a 10 hour drive. You get offloaded in Chicago and you hop into your bunk while you're at the shipper or the receiver's yard and you're in your bunk for about three hours. The knock comes on the door, three hours into your rest, and the receiver says, hey, we're locking up the gate, you gotta leave. You think, hey, not a problem. I know the PC rule in the States. There's a truck stop, it's only about 30 minutes away, it's the nearest safe location that I can go and park. So I'll just use PC, drive down to that truck stop, park there, and all is good. And you do. And just like the logbook that's right there, you record it as PC. In the States, you're perfectly legal. You leave Chicago, you come back, you hit the border, and in Windsor, you get inspected and put out of service. Why you put out of service? Do you see what it says there about sleeper birth? It says only nine and a half hours. Nine and a half hours, and of course in Canada, we need 10 hours. Two hours in the sleeper birth plus whatever else minimum of two plus to equal at least 10. So now you're put out of service. You get fined, you're late, it's inconvenient and you know what else. So how do you avoid it? Well if you say I'm splitting my sleeper birth and you make sure your sleeper birth number is not nine and a half in this case, you would have to go into the bunk for an extra half hour there to complete, because as it shows on the log there, it's three hours are the, is the first period, so you want second the second period to be at least seven hours, so you do lose your half hour there, but now you become legal when you're in Canada. This is only really important when your last 10 hour break in the States is immediately before coming back to Canada. If you were to do the same thing in California and use PC, by the time you get back to Canada, you're legal or likely legal because you've had several 10 hour rest breaks since that PC use. But if you use PC immediately in that 10 hour break and then hit the Canadian border, that's where I believe you are having a problem. So you need to know what the Canadian split sleeper birth rules are in order to do it all legally. Make sure if you're going to use PC on your 10 hour break immediately prior to coming back into Canada, that on your sleeper birth line, it will show at least 10 hours. And this is a real problem because ELDs are not going to help you. Your ELD is going to show that you're legal while in the States, it doesn't understand what happens when you cross the border. So you, as the driver, you've got to think about it and make up for the lack of PC or the lack of the ELD knowing the rules. All right, please use it sparingly. Be careful out there. It's a heck of a way to get a ticket. All right, so I just want you to think about it, please. PC in the States you got to be careful. Thanks so much. Safety Dogs out. And don't forget to like and subscribe to the Safety Dog channel. See ya.